Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you six different ways to fold your socks. I want to thank my husband because he is letting me use his socks for demonstration purposes. You know I love to save space, save you time, so let's jump into these six amazingly fun ways that you can fold your socks. The first method that I'm going to show you is called the fold over. So what you're going to do is you're going to have one sock flat and you're going to take the next sock and make a cross just like so. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the heel, fold it over. You're gonna take the top, fold it over. And again, you're gonna take the heel, fold it over, hence they call it the fold over method. And the last piece, fold it over. And there you have a nice little square, like so. The next method is called the square. This is probably my second favorite method, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your socks like so. You're gonna have the heels tucked in like that. And again, you're gonna cross them over just like we did in the first example. You're gonna go ahead, flip the heel up like so. Flip the next heel up like so. Flip this over the top, <laughs> like so. And flip the other top over, like so. So you're gonna have two ends sticking out, the tops of the socks. The first one that you fold it over, you're just gonna go ahead and tuck that baby in. Like that. And then the last one you'll also tuck in to the other side. This one is a bit more compact than the first example. Super cute, huh? Again, this one is called the square. Super durable for traveling or just putting in your drawer. The third example that I'm gonna show you is <laughs> inspired by Con Marie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay one sock on top of the other. And then you're gonna fold it into thirds. Cotton Marie is all about thirds and being compact. So, one, two, and three. And if you did it correctly, your sock should just stand up just like that. Now it would look really nice organized in your drawer. One sock. And this method, this Cotton Marie method, is super quick and easy. The next method is called the tuck and roll. So again, you're gonna place one sock on top of the other, but this time you're gonna take the cuff and you're gonna tuck it in just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and roll as tightly as we can from the bottom. Roll that up. If you can hear the birds outside, it's finally getting nice here in Wisconsin. When you get to this top part, you're gonna take this piece that's sticking out right here and you're gonna tuck it inside of itself, like so. Nice and compact in your drawer as well. When you display them in your drawer, I would do them like this. Look at how nice that would look right next to each other. Super easy. That is the roll. The tuck and roll. <laughs> the next one is just simply the roll. This is another, these are all super quick and easy. This one is especially quick and easy, but this one is called the roll. You can hear the lawnmower outside. <laughs> so again, put one sock on top of the other and you're gonna roll them as tight as you possibly can. That's my neighbors. <laughs> and you have like a little roll up, like so. Now these will come apart, so when you stack them in your drawer, you could either do them like this, they'd look really cute in a basket or in your drawer all lined up like this, or you could lay them in your drawer just like this. Last but not least, we're gonna roll military style. Now this is very nice, especially for traveling. And again, you're gonna lay one sock on top of the other 
You're gonna go ahead and roll as tight as you possibly can to save the most amount of space. And that's my cat wanting to get outside. Look at all the distractions we got. This is real life, people. We got it rolled here. And then you're gonna take the bottom one, kind of similar to the other one, except the first or the last example we did, we tucked this part in. You're just going to wrap it around the entire sock like that and again these will stay together very nicely especially if you are traveling and you want to save space I hope that you enjoyed all six of these different sock folding methods I have to say this one is probably my favorite or this really cute package one right here let me know in the comments box below which of these methods do you like the most or which one are you going to try if you are new here make sure you give the video a thumbs up subscribe also hit me up on instagram at andrew jean co i teach women how to turn their passions into profits and this cleaning and organizing channel is one way that i demonstrate how to do that as i was looking back on the footage i thought i would explain something because many of you are probably going to be like what is wrong with her arms why are they so veiny a couple things i'm very pregnant right now <laughs> So we got lots of blood flowing and two I strength train on a pretty regular basis and that is my cat She is going crazy and she wants to go outside. So that is why no need to worry. I get asked about it all the time <laughs> All right, Have a great day. All right. Thank you for being here I appreciate you immensely and have a wonderful day